Overall, gas turbines are probably generating about a third of the electricity that we consume. Centrex are an engineering business and the machines we manufacture are small gas turbines in industries that consume a lot of heat as well as electricity. So we're looking at chemical factories, paper mills, hospitals. To get clean combustion in a gas turbine, it's necessary to mix all the air with fuel before you burn it. Once you do that, combustion can become unstable. If you're not able to monitor the, the combustion system, then you would operate with slightly higher fuel to air ratio and that will result in higher emissions. We have sensors at the moment, but we can only use them for very short periods of time in the location we'd like to put them. The gas turbine operates at very high pressures and temperatures. Conventional materials simply can't survive in that environment. Some people consider a gas turbine environment to be like a rocket engine. Very high pressure, very high temperature, 1,000 degrees centigrade and hotter. Oxensis is a small company in Oxfordshire making pressure and temperature sensors for harsh environment in aerospace and gas turbines. They're pressure and temperature sensors based upon a sapphire structure. Optical sensors can go where electrical sensors can't because the very front of the sensor doesn't care about a thousand degrees C. The innovative step for us is to separate the sensor head from the data management. The first few millimetres of the sensor is where all the data is created and we do that without exchanging any electrical energy with the sensor. And then we separate the action using a long optical fibre and shine light down that and look at the received interference pattern. So we've just built a huge gap between the 1000 centigrade combustor and the more delicate optoelectronics. We go right to the heart of the action so we get more data. What we're doing is initially providing a platform that enables the, the sensor to get developed on an operating gas turbine. The rollout on our machines provides us with some benefit, but it enables Oxensis to take the probe to other bigger engines where the gas turbines that are producing power on the grid will provide a lot more benefit because they're much bigger machines. The environmental price is significant. If we can change the way energy intensive systems such as gas-fired power generation worldwide operate, by one percentage point of efficiency, then we've helped to shift tens of millions of tons per annum of CO2.